Hey guys, have you heard of the camel and the 3000 banana riddle? It goes a little something like this. You have a camel and 3000 bananas. You need to transport the bananas 1000 kilometers. The camel can carry at most 1000 bananas at once and the camel needs to eat one banana per kilometer. How many bananas can you transport the whole 1000 kilometers? So here's a visual right here. We have our camel, the 3000 bananas and the 1000 kilometers that we're trying to bring as many bananas as we can. The one approach is to throw a thousand bananas on the camel and just have them start going for it. But the problem is, is every kilometer he goes, he's going to end up eating a banana. And so it's eventually going to go down to zero bananas. So he can't just go all the way across. And even at this point, he can't make it back to the rest of the bananas because he has no bananas to give him the energy for the return trip. So this will not work. Let's start over and let's do the other extreme. Let's just go one kilometer at a time. So he brings a thousand bananas, travels one kilometer. He ends up eating one of the bananas. So now he has 999 bananas and he's going to leave 998 bananas at that one kilometer mark. And he's going to save himself one banana for the return trip trip. So then he grabs another thousand bananas, travels one kilometer. He has 999. He leaves another 998, keeps one for himself and goes back. So he does the same thing again, eats a banana and he leaves 999. He has now traveled one kilometer and has 2,995 bananas. And we can speak generally that anytime this camel has 2,000 to 3,000 bananas that he needs to transport, it's going to take him five bananas for each kilometer. So now if he travels another kilometer, it's going to have taken him five more bananas and then another and then another. And each of these is taken away five bananas. And if we fast forward, forward to 100 kilometers, he's going to end up eating 500 of the bananas or 200 kilometers, he's going to end up eating 1000 of the bananas. What's cool now, though, now that he only has 2000 bananas, he no longer needs to make three trips. Let's find out how many bananas each kilometer will take now. So he has the 2000 bananas, he borrows 1000, he walks one kilometer and eats one banana and leaves 998 there and leaves one for himself for the return trip. And then he grabs the last of the 1000 bananas, travels one kilometer and eats another banana and then leaves all 999 to give us 1997 at that one kilometer mark. And you notice it ended up taking away three bananas to do this. So we can say that this camel to move 1,000 to 2,000 bananas, it takes three bananas per kilometer doing this loop method. And as we keep traveling along, this is going to keep reducing by three. So now let's jump ahead to 533 kilometers. We will have 1,001 bananas. And then with one banana, he can only go one third of a kilometer. So it's going to be 533 and one third kilometers. He's not exactly 1,000 bananas. At this point, he no longer needs to loop back because he can carry all the bananas that he has. So we know that anywhere from zero to a thousand bananas it's just one banana per kilometer so we're just going to start eating bananas as he travels the rest of the way I'll let's take 100 kilometer jumps so if he travels 100 kilometers he's going to eat 100 bananas and another 100 kilometers another 100 bananas eaten and he's going to keep doing that until he gets here and let's go another 60 miles so now we're at 995 and he has 538 bananas let's go another four miles this will be 999 and 534 and now he just has two-thirds of a kilometer to go so he's going to eat two-thirds of a banana give him 533 and one-third banana Bananas. And now he's gone the whole 1,000 kilometers. So that is the answer. The maximum number out of 3,000 bananas that this camel can deliver 1,000 kilometers is 533 and one third. And we can put a box around that. And if you're measuring in whole bananas, it's 533 whole bananas. How exciting.